Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo. Hello, I'm Shelley Irwin, and welcome to Kalamazoo Lively Arts, the show that takes you inside Kalamazoo's vibrant, creative community and explores the people who breathe life into the arts. Today, we will look back on this season and hear from different artists about their perspective on art and community in Kalamazoo. We start by visiting downtown Kalamazoo during Art on the Mall and hearing from different artists in their booths. So what kind of jewelry do you design? So I basically work with copper and silver, um, sometimes bamboo, and I basically make everything by hand, hand cut, hand sanded, it's all hand formed, and it's um, silver metal clay is the majority of it. So the final product is? Um, shiny things, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, uh, what are you selling? What, uh, what do you want your customers to take home? Um, my basic principle is to create things that people love to wear. So if you're inspired by nature, then you would wear like a leaf or um, a cloud or um, a feather or something like that. And then also I do, my majority is the um, handmade silver state necklaces. So you put the heart over where you're from and then you get to wear a little piece of home. Every, you take it with you wherever you go. So that was my, my breakout, I guess, line would be that. And what makes your art more unique than her art? Um, I guess I'm just, I wouldn't say I'm more unique than anyone else. I just, I try to, to, to go by the principles of what I love and um, I completely put my heart and soul into what I make. And every piece is made by these two hands, so I, I take a lot of pride in that. And has this always been your passion? No. <laughs> um, I basically am, I was working for someone else and I hated it and I wanted to be my own boss so and I've always loved working with my own hands so I basically took a class and f completely fell in love with metalsmithing and then it just took off from there. Enjoy your time here. Thank you so much. So what is your art? <laughs> my art, I do watercolors mostly. Um, I have a lot of watercolor paintings here, but I have a little bit of variety also. I've got these boxes that pop open. They put the art inside, you open the box and it pops out at you. <laughs> and this is, shall we say, your encore career. How does this happen? Oh yes, I'm a retired educator. I uh, was teacher and principal in the Dwajak school system. And so now that I'm retired, just kind of reinventing myself. I love art and I do art shows. Describe a piece of your art that you have here. I just uh, use a variety of techniques. Um, I like some real detailed things, so sometimes I get uh, real interested in that, but I also have a variety of things. I like to do caricatures too, so. <laughs> and you illustrate books. Oh yes, I've illustrated two books. Um, most recent one is called Winter in My Hood by Dina Selzo. A Dwajak teacher. How'd you get your talent in this artistic world? Well, I'm self-taught. Um, I love learning and read lots of nonfiction things. And you can learn so much from books, and uh, that's what I've done mostly. And then, of course, experience. The more you do, the more you learn. If you want to be a good ping pong player, you better play ping pong. And the pop-up in the box? What's that idea? Um, I don't know, some people just have weird ideas. <laughs> and I guess that's a weird one. I just uh, thought it would be fun to try. I knew you'd pop up books. If a book can pop out, why shouldn't you be able to put some artwork in a box? And, and so I just experimented f for hours and eventually came up with some designs that worked. And so just for the fun of it. Thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you. brand of your art? The brand is Yana D and that's my sister um, and we make all organic, natural and salvaged clothing um, at her studio in Traverse City. 
How is this made? How is this made? Well, Yana is the owner and designer, and I call her the mastermind. And she comes up with patterns, um, picks out fabric. We select for organic, natural, and um, sometimes salvage materials. And then she comes up with her patterns and rolls out the fabric, and then she hands it over to her team to help sew it together. And uh, she sews about five days a week, and I sew one day a week, and there's another woman in the studio doing three days a week, and another one doing one. So we have a team of five to 10 people all year round, um, depending on how busy the season is. What's it mean to be organic? What it means to be organic is that the cotton we're using was grown without using pesticides, so there was no chemical fertilizers, no artificial uh, pesticides, um, and so it's more natural for the environment and it's not harmful for as an agriculture process. And then it's also better for your skin. A lot of people have skin allergies or sensitivities, and this fabric is just really breathable, really natural, and uh, won't irritate hardly anybody. And what's up with the hat? <laughs> the hats are a fun... Um, new design and they're made out of our scraps so that one thing we like to do is not waste anything so like I said Yana will roll out big big rolls of fabric and cut out the big patterns of skirts and dresses and things like that um, the smaller pieces we'll use to make things like hats so the tit top uh, brim and inside are all made with little scraps so um, they're fully reversible and yeah they're kind of all unique fun pieces and after the hats are made the smaller pieces get turned into little uh, headbands, so we're really trying not to throw anything away. It, every, a piece of fabric has to get very, very small before we'll trash it, so we're trying to reduce waste and use every little piece because the fabric is really high quality and we don't want it to go to waste. Yet. Best selling item would be? Wrap dresses. Can I grab one? Yeah, grab one. Okay. <laughs> So this, this is our bird dress. This is made with a blend of bamboo and organic cotton on top and 100% organic cotton on the bottom. And this is by far our best seller right now. So yeah. Step up to the plate and uh, get a wrap dress yeah. and more. So what is the story about the loonies? We have so much fun doing these shows and um, We've been accused of being a little bit loony. Um, Drunk. Absolutely. <laughs> so Just we, because we enjoy it so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They thought we were kind of, so we thought, well, what a great name. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me about what you're wearing. Is this part of your art? Yes, it is. This is hand woven, and we ha I have a couple of looms at home, and I just weave at home, and this is like kind of a gradiated, loopy um, fiber that I love using. It's nice and light, and that's what we do. We do shawls, we do scarves, we do ponchos and tops, and Billy does a lot of the ponchos with beautiful, beautiful fiber. That's what's Bill what Billy's wearing. What are you wearing? Right, I'm wearing a poncho that I made. Um, it's um, hand-painted and hand woven on one of my looms at home and then you take a deep breath and you cut the neck and pray that it <laughs> that it all works out and it usually does so and the story of working together how does that become a successful company gosh we met we were in a class a weaving class in Flynn Institute of Arts and we just took it to learn how to weave okay. and we enjoyed our each other's company so much of course we were kind of put in our own little area in the class <laughs> <laughs> you were then too. Yeah, I kind of broke up the class. But anyway, we learned how to weave there, and then from then on, we've been good friends. We've been in the same guilds together, and we just decided, why don't we try an art fair? And are the art fairs fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, we love this one's meeting. great. Yeah, we. Oh, the, absolutely. We love meeting people because there's so many people that have looms in their family and weaving in their family, and they just start sharing stories, and it's just. Uh, unbelievable. Really Have fun, lo loony ladies. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, we yeah. will. Thank you. Thank you. Co-owner with your wife, right? Correct. Yeah. 22 years. What do you both paint? Um, I specialize in uh, the dogs. Uh, I do portraits. I usually do about three or four a week. Um, my wife does florals um, and uh, she works just as hard as I do. Let's talk about what the niche is. You paint on slate? Correct. Yep. Um, we import the slate. Um, it's a nice uh, surface to paint on because it doesn't break down. Um, our, our product is designed for the interior or exterior use. Um, and we use an exterior paint. Um, we actually do so much painting, we buy it by the gallon. 
Um, and, and that's basically it. So if one brings you a picture of their man's best friend, woman's best friend, do you paint the dog? I do, yep. Uh, people typically will text me a photo um, or they'll email me a photo. Um, I paint directly from the photo. It looks exactly like the photo when it's done. Um, and uh, I turn it around in about two weeks. Lastly, best-selling breed would be? Uh, probably either a Golden Retriever or a Westie. No Jack Russell? But we do sell those. <laughs> Thank you for your time. You're welcome. There's nothing like hometown pride, and singer-songwriter Yolanda Lavender captured this perfectly in her song, Kalamazoo, performed with the Last Gasp Collective. <laughs> Kalamazoo has a flourishing arts community, and throughout the season, we've asked the artists why it's important to support the arts in Kalamazoo. Here's what they say. Why 
why support the arts in Kalamazoo? Um, I think maybe because I was raised by the arts in Kalamazoo to some extent. I think my whole life I, I grew up around Kalamazoo, so that was where I got my first exposure to music and that kind of style. Um, I don't know, I just believe in Kalamazoo. I think it's a really awesome city. I think that it's in a, it's in a place right now where it could be, it's like right in that brink of like, it kind of has a small city feel, but it really has the resources of a larger city to some extent. Buried in the dust of time, you took me to the water's edge. It's an industry that is locally made. Art is an essential, I feel like it's vital. I don't know where I would be without art and pretty much all of the artists that I know, I don't know where they would be without art. I think that the kid that's putting nuggets of glass on a piece of material or laying out a design, maybe struggling with math, and all of a sudden the elements make sense to him or her. Maybe it's not something that a written number will make that connection. By working with your fingers and your mind together, that that might help that person understand something more. And it provides something that's unique for, for your life, for uh, your table, your walls, your home. I really believe that art is it's beauty, it's romance, it's love, it's, it's all the things that we don't see every day when we're, you know, kind of sometimes stuck in our nine to five cycles and we're in the patterns and we've got kids and we've got bills and, and we're busy. Sometimes we don't get time to acknowledge the beautiful parts of life and I think that's what art allows us to do. I think that Kalamazoo is a very unique um, town across the country. You don't see arts like this anywhere else in the, in the country. It's a very interesting community, and I think it brings such a, a wealth of knowledge to the community. It's a, it's a truly a, a, a truly a, a unique experience. God's lit the eyes upon it. They had a change of heart, a change of heart. Oh, I think it's important that our, our, our communities support artists in general. I mean, um, for me it's really simple. It's, you know, artists are the ones that are kind of pushing the envelope on ideas and uh, sort of a pathway, you know, towards a future or any direction. I mean, there's, there's lots of different types of art. There's, there's functional art, there's inspirational art, there's motivational art. Um, and a lot of people sometimes think of the arts as something snobby, you know, so to speak. But um, I tell you what, it's it's the artists are the ones that I want to be around. They're the fun ones, the creative ones, the the different ones. It's it's where the party's at. How important is it to support the arts in Kalamazoo? I mean, Kalamazoo is, uh, I don't know, it's like a gem in, in southwest Michigan. The arts are awesome and it's like, I think, the core of what keeps Kalamazoo unique and weird and cool. It's a great city. It's a great town. There's a lot going on in this place. The Kalamazoo Institute of Art, the orchestra, uh, the music, the, the jazz scene here, um, it's it's a good it's a good way for people to come together to have a good time it's a way to engage in conversation with others and it's a busy place art wise it's a very active community uh, yeah it was the first place that we had been that like there was an artistic community already established like we come from a very small town or couple small towns that are right next to each other. So we came here to a larger city, a more urban environment. Uh, there's things in place, open mics, grant funded programs that just allow people to get out their creative side. So we just took advantage of it. Like, there's an appreciation Yeah, for they it, appreciate yeah. it here. So like that gave us even more like 
go do this, go get them. If you're ever stressed or anything, it's a great way in a constructive way to let it out and it sounds great and it feels great. Why support the arts in Kalamazoo? Supporting the arts means supporting every other business in town. It means a more educated youth, a more involved youth, and that's never a bad thing. so much everybody thank you for joining us this season for Kalamazoo Lively Arts we leave you tonight with another song from Joe Hurtler and the Rainbow Seekers Halloween show at Bell's eccentric cafe the song hometown is a fitting way to wrap the show and we want to thank all the artists organizations and the Irving S Gilmore Foundation for making it all possible and to the production crew behind the scenes we had some fun times I'm Shelly Irwin have a great night Streets of my hometown. The night is down, the ghost rose from their graves. And they follow me and pulled the sleeves of my jacket. And tried so hard, but cannot remember their names. I know. I was in the rain, just the way the sun walked off. I know regret, cause it's still in me in the place that I left it. I don't wanna let you down. No. I don't wanna let you down. And I swear that someday. Oh, I'll return home. You believed in me, I want to bring you home. I swear to God, I found the leaves.
Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.